Right, this time we're going to take a look at an advanced way of using System Restore. And this way of using System Restore is useful if you can't um, boot into Windows. If your Windows won't start, obviously you can't use the System Restore it's on the desktop. Um, so there is a way of actually accessing System Restore from your Windows disk. Um, now, before you try this, before you go any further with this, um, you've got to be careful when running anything off the disk. Um, one wrong selection on this procedure and you could lose pretty much everything. Um, you basically reinstall Windows and then it becomes a bit of a nightmare to get your data back. Um, it's not impossible, um, but it's always best to you only use this as a last resort. Um, and if you are going to use this, make sure that all your important data is backed up. Um, now, because we want to boot from the disk, um, most PCs are set up in BIOS to access the hard drive first. And in this case, we actually want the CD-ROM, DVD-ROM um, to be the first in the boot priority. Um, so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to reboot this PC and I'm going to show you how to access BIOS. Okay, as the PC starts, we're prompted to hit F2 to enter setup, which we've done here. And again, every PC can be different, they all have different ways of accessing the setup, but they'll usually tell you right at the beginning. The first splash screen that you get is usually uh, how to enter setup. Um, so, whichever key it tells you, in this case F2, we'll just tap F2 and now we're in the BIOS setup. Now again be careful what you alter in here um, because one wrong move in here and again you'll find that your PC won't boot. Um, so what we want to do, and most BIOSes are the same, is we want to shift across to boot and then drop down um, and as I said earlier you'll see that hard drive is number one in the list and CD-ROM is number two with removable devices after that. So what we want to do is we want to move CD-ROM to the top um, and you'll see an explanation on the right hand side there how to move things up and down. And in this case we just press the, the plus arrow um, and then we hit F10. Now we've already got our Windows 7 disk in. You will need the disk in because once you confirm here by entering yes the PC will reboot and then it'll ask you to hit any key to boot from CD, DVD, um, whatever your medium is. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that, so if we select yes, PC is going to reboot, we'll let it boot through there, and then we're going to press any key to boot from DVD, and it's now going to launch the Windows setup. Okay, once we've loaded the Windows files, and we've gone through the starting Windows splash screen, we'll be prompted to enter um, language in current time format. So I'm um, English UK, so we'll hit that, pick whichever country you're in and click next. Okay, this is where we've got to be careful. What we don't want to be doing is installing. And you see down here in the bottom left that we have an option to repair your computer. So if we left click on that, this is now gonna search the hard drives in this computer and it will then detect which operating system we're running. Okay, once it's done that, it's found our Windows 7 install on local drive C. We're going to highlight Windows 7 and click Next. And this is going to take us into the system recovery options. Um, and again, just be wary of what you're actually selecting here. Um, the one we're looking at is System Restore, but I will go into these in a a later uh, later video or two. Um, there's some there's some pretty good stuff in here. Um, so what we want to be doing is clicking on System Restore, and now it's going to scan. Now, if you've used Windows Re System Restore from the desktop, that'll be pretty familiar to you. Um, it now just goes into the same dialog boxes as the desktop version would. Uh, so we click Next, and you'll see here that we've got um, a restore point that I created earlier on. Um, and again you can show more restore points and you can also scan for affected programs. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that and click next, that's the restore point I want. And again just as on the desktop it's going to ask us to confirm and 
we'll click finish and then it's again another warning once started system restart cannot be interrupted and we'll click yes again now what's going to happen now is it's going to roll the system back to the restore point we've just selected and then reboot the PC now when the PC does reboot it's important that you don't press any key when it asks you whether you want to boot from DVD what you want to do is leave it and it'll boot from the hard drive because it'll basically go through the list um, if nobody presses any key to boot from DVD it'll drop down to the next one which is our hard drive and that's what we want to be booting off um, so again once we get into the reboot stage here just don't press any keys when it asks you to boot from DVD okay now it's finished the restore it's going to tell us that it was completed successfully and we're going to restart Okay, don't press any keys, let it boot to hard drive. Okay, now that the PC's rebooted, we've got the um, system restore completed successfully. Dialog box up, and we just click close, and we've now rolled back to that earlier restore point, and hopefully your PC will now boot. If not, obviously try later restore points until you can get it to boot. Um, just one other thing to, to clean this up now is when we restart the computer we need to go back into the BIOS and alter the boot priority again I mean it can be left the same but it just adds that extra dialogue when it's booting up you know, press any key if there's a bootable drive in there so again we hit F2 and then we skip across the boot and down and then we'll just press the plus key again your BIOS is, you know, tend to differ a little bit um, so we've now got the hard drive and the CD-ROM back at the top it'll only prompt you to press any key if there is a bootable disk in there such as your Windows install or anything like that so you, you can leave it and take the disk out or put it back which is just a way of showing you how to set it back press F10 and hit yes and that's how to do a system restore from the Windows